I've never consumed any content of before. Like, here's Blair White. I was like, wow, how is this a thing? How does Blair White exist? I think we need to take a meta look at that, but we can go into it. But the meta, the meta take on, on that whole thing is this is conservatism in Jewish clown world. A, a gay yeah. Jew, a tranny, and a conservative right. black chick that's doxing yeah. racists. Yeah. Well, this is this is what you're. This is the Jay Wright. The Republican Party is going to look like in 2024. Like, I and it's beautiful. Takes on the same version of like the presidential debate in like 2024, 2028 is going to be like, uh, oh well, I you know I'm the Democrat, so I think people should be allowed to fuck kids, and then the Republican is going to be like a black tranny who's like, well, the age of consent should only be lowered to 14, not 12. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it's interesting that, that you actually get, like, more weird antisocial freaks on, like, this right-wing side of things. Um, you know, and, well, and they're course, not taking their own side, right? So they're, they're inherently weirdos. Like, to be a right-wing tranny, like, you're just already so fucking mentally ill that, like, I, I don't, I'm not surprised that they're able to jump through one more fucking hoop. Of bass awkward thought. <laughs> well, well, just remember though, like, they're they're oh, not. Yeah, the, the, but remember, they're they're they're, they're trying to. Position. They're trying to claim that type of identity. That's true. <laughs> Alex and I are having the thing again. Uh, they're they're trying to keep the right in libertarians, right? Because yeah. there's no contradiction yeah. with trannyism and libertarians. That's right. perfectly fine. Like a tranny yeah. can be pro free market and private property. They don't give a shit. A tranny can be pro white. A tranny can be yeah, pro-white. Are, are, is there one? Is there like a famous like white nationalist tranny yet? There was that one on Twitter for a minute. It wasn't famous, but it was hilarious. Wasn't, wasn't, Bruce, wasn't Bruce Jenner a Trump reporter or Trump supporter? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah but Bruce Jenner was a Republican for a low taxes. Tranny. I mean, it's oh, okay. possible. It's just unlikely because the other the rest of the pro-white community would, would not welcome them. Like we don't know. Oh, yeah, no, sure about that. yeah, no. I'm not there was sure that, what uh, was it? The Chad Weiss theme comes from that fucking Twitter Dude, let's train. stop this. Yeah. Let's stop this right. No yeah. slow mo. Let's yeah. stop this right. No now. <laughs> Listen, we do need to shut this down. We do not accept trannies into this thing. Like, no, if, no. If you're out there, like, no. go away. The traps. The trap meme is a joke. It's 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 for it's for laughs. Don't it's actually swear, come around. I, but, but I can't believe this yeah. Blair White person. I've never really paid attention to it. I've heard the name tossed around. Yeah, I've, and I've heard, heard about it. But I've only I never heard. Really of, I've only heard of her in the her. in the sense that I've heard of people. I like, always call them her because I get fooled. I know. Uh, I've heard of people hilariously being fu- being fooled by it. I think a friend of ours on the forum thought that this was a, a wow. Look at listen to this woman who really like knows her stuff about white identity. It's like oh, oh no. it's like sorry, well, buddy. Fair Blair White is a, a real trap. Like, I, I fell into that trap happen. one time. Someone showed a picture of if it you, that was uh, like. It looked feminine and attractive. I was like, oh, that's a... Blair White has shoulders like a fucking line. Yeah, when you actually... When it's not a deceptive Massive, picture. Massive, just like yeah. big rib cage so Bla- and shoulders. Blair White is a, is a trap? Red, fill me in. It's a tranny. Blair White's a tranny. Blair, Blair White a, is that a That trap. is a dude. That is a dude that's a tranny. When I look at what the alt-right does online, I always try to keep in mind that what they do in this environment is a dry run. For what they will have, for what fascists have done historically, and um, for what they are going to do in terms of their power coalition when they move out into the real world and gain uh, legitimate power, and and and, and particularly uh, power over the monopoly of violence. So you know, when I first started talking about this subject. The uh, alt-right didn't have uh, any divisions. When the alt-right first came up, it included people like uh, Mike Cernovich. It included people like Gavin McInnes. It included people like Alex Jones. Alex Jones himself was caught on, you know, had, had mentioned several times towards the beginning of the movement that the alt, that he was a member of the alt-right because the alt-right started as uh, supposedly a a pro-Trump movement, a wide coalition of pro-Trump people that included um, Jewish and black conservatives. Um, The original version of the alt-right around 2015 through 2016 was had a lot of prominent uh, female activists the 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 uh, alt right movement of that era was also very staunchly libertarian. 
Um, in spite of the fact that they would play with fascistic iconography, um, they were uh, also, uh, you know, freedom was the first and last word out of the mouth of, of the, the average uh, alt writer. Uh, I would even say that 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 some of the earlier earliest alt right media outlets like the Rebel Media uh, were run by Jewish Americans, Jewish North Americans, I guess, because the the Rebel is Canadian. Now, what what's happening as I, as as people in in my community predicted is that uh, what started off as uh, you know of course uh, one of the uh, uh, earliest uh, uh, voices for the alt right was was a, uh, a homosexual named uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and the Milo Yiannopoulos represented a, a extreme uh, queer identity within the 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 original alt right the original maga movement now we're we're nearly 2 years into what i would call a, a, a political clusterfuck um, that has already resulted in uh, purity spirals and uh, hyper factionalization. Um, so now uh, the the Proud Boys, which are like these, uh, used to be like these uh, yuppie uh, Western supremacist enforcers for the early alt right, are now like a marginalized bunch of losers that got po got get you know pointed at and laughed at by both sides by the far right and the far left so now after all these these what i would call a solid two years of the alt-right's existence jewish people are no longer um, allowed in the movement um the rebel media collapsed uh, around the time that the you know, uh, Ezra, Ezra Levant, once he stopped being a useful idiot for the alt-right, he made a video where one of his Somali uh, correspondents um, explained that alt-right was a stupid uh, ideology. So so his, his useful idiocy in that moment started to dissipate, and within a few months, his platform disintegrated. Gavin McInnes retreated to a standard-issue Republican platform called CRTV, where he now just basically parrots pro-Trump uh, shit to your Fox News talking points. Um, it, you know, the lower loomers of the world have, have wanted to... Uh, you know, the lower loomer represents a faction of American um, Jewish identity that, that has ascended into suburbia and mistaken themselves for being... Um, included in white supremacy um and not to say that 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 some fair-skinned jewish people don't actively contribute to uh, white supremacy under the veil of, of white privilege because they have uh, integrated into um you know uh, uh, white identity here um the secret that the alt-right exposed to these upper middle class jewish american people who thought they had transcended non-white identity immigrant identity is that they are not uh, white by the definition of the extreme uh, right wing of, 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 of uh, white identity the white supremacists do not consider even the most fair-skinned european jewish person to be white um, even people like Tara McCarthy and Lauren Southern, who didn't go all the way like Faith Goldie did towards um, full-blown ethno-nationalism, have been disinvited from the movement. They've been uh, uh, marginalized. Uh, Lauren Southern had a big expose done on her where she uh, was exposed uh, to have... Exposed? Well, it was revealed that she had a past of dating um, Muslim men uh, and not fair-skinned Muslim men either so this ex this this very much so agitated um, the alt-right audience that she was exploiting for a long time and she still she still tries to pander to white identity but her purity uh, image has been tinged by this this closing of ranks and this, this uh, even even you know there was a black uh, 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 woman uh, YouTuber who had who was a staunch ally of the alt right and very anti Black Lives Matter and, and a little over a week ago this person Trio Logic did a video where now she's suddenly against the alt right because the alt right is against 
Jewish people and so forth. She just realized now after months and years of of being in coalition with the alt-right, she now realizes that they're white supremacists. So, I mean, even people like that guy T, who again, he loved Edgy Ed Sphinx. He was all about the memes. All of a sudden, that guy T realizes that he's not included in, in the, the banner guard of the alt-right, which, you know, I don't know whether to laugh or not because, like, it's, it's so tragic. I mean, even... Um, you know, Blair White, who walked out with her, her MAGA hat and got her nail broken for the movement, is now referred to as a thing by the, re you know, the true face of the alt-right asserted itself this year in 2017, and they started cleaning house. Mike Enoch, um, Richard Spencer came uh, uh, into the internet space and pushed out Sargon of Akkad the second he was challenged. He came into this space and pushed out Styx Hex and Hammer, who six six six, who was a um, regular uh, 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 surrogate for this idea of of uh, unified nationalism and white identity and a lot of stuff. And he, you know, would soft pedal. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't completely agree with it or whatever. But the second that these people dare to challenge the alt right. They get fucked by... I mentioned on the channel before they're going to go down with this shit. You've already alienated the left. The people that you call SJWs. People who are staunchly anti-fascist. You already alienated them. And now you've, you've alienated the alt-right because you dare to challenge the basic premise of human subspeciation that fuels the movement and sometimes includes you, your family members your community, people that you care about. Now, the skeptics uh, and, and new right and alt-right have a moral conscience. Now they realize that the alt-right is a fascistic <coughs> white supremacist movement. But you know what? It's too late because I've said before that it is prison rules, especially on the internet. It is prison rules. If you're going to leave a major collective on the internet of abandon an ideology separate yourself from a coalition with a political movement you better have a place waiting for you in the opposition and what's happening here is is even though i do support what crowton t the the the, the moral mission that that crowton t embarked on before he left this uh platform crowton t was was left with no home he was not willing to go into a coalition with social justice, or at least not in time to, to, to save himself before he had to leave the platform because he had no friends. So so the we have had some skeptic defectors because of this 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 pogrom, this this uh this purification of the alt-right where <laughs> spoiler alert, only white Christian men <coughs> or you know uh, 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 of worshippers of Odin or whatever uh, are allowed to uh, lead the movement. All of that bullshit about uh, being progressive Nazis now Hitler now excuse me Hitler. Whoo! What a Freudian slip that was. Well, now uh, Richard Spencer doesn't give a fuck about liberty. Richard Spencer Spencer doesn't give a fuck about the U.S. Constitution. Richard Sp Spencer doesn't give a fuck about America. Richard Spencer doesn't give a fuck about any of the shit that he soft pedaled in order to get a wide coalition when, when, when Trump came into power. The, the pendulum has swung wildly to the right. And, and, and you know, there's, it cuts both ways. In one way, the far right uh, uh, in, in this uh, program of, of purging useful idiots has uh, pushed that group to the left and the peril of that is that somehow the alt-right sets the uh, other wing of the anti-SJWs up as the left wing because now you have a very reactionary frame for every debate where your left wing is represented by Sargon and Styx and other fashy scum and then even more fashy scum on the right wing because, you know, so this becomes, you know, you, you can't have a fucking... Um, you can't have a, a viable debate about left and right when the argument is between center-right and far-right. 
So there is something useful to our side about the center right basically getting BTFO'd by the alt right, being humiliated and then having no place to go. But I would say it is valuable for us to offer a home to any of the disaffected skeptics who just realized that they've been collaborating with these this, these these fascists who also want. Here's what's important about what's happening to the tokens and the useful idiots right now is that it's dawning on them that when the alt right comes to power, they're coming for you your family, your friends, your city, your town, and your country too.